Welcome back guys, today we're going to practice some simple asynchronous javascript code by creating this simple application. We can get a random Pokemon, we can type any Pokemon name, or we can search it by name, also we can type any number between 1 and 650, and also we have a little form validation, if we don't type anything we have, we will get a 404 card, even if we type anything not related to a number between 1 and 650 or a Pokemon name and that's it, we have a 404 page without further ado, I am NeoDev, let's grow together and let's get started alright guys, just to let you know that I won't focus on the HTML neither the CSS, just the JavaScript so let's open our VS Code, as you can see I have my bottle plate so let's go, let's go and hit live server in order to new to open a new tab for us so you can see there you go now let's copy the whole css by the way you can find the code on my, my code pen and we are using the Montserrat family from google fonts but now the slightly difference is that i'm using these uh these styles for my logo i mean this logo right here this one because oh, my code pen is slightly different as you can see just the with the 180 pixels the reason of, of that is that I'm not allowed to upload my own image. I'm using an uh, image from an uh, external resource. So, okay, now inside of our index.html, let's create our main tag. So main, and above we will have our image, that logo, Pokemon logo. So copy, paste with a class of logo, of course. Now I have my form with no action. And inside of my form, I will have an input with the ID of search with a placeholder and two buttons. The first one is just a single button and the other one is a button with the type of submit with this class and the other class. Okay, now let's go and start our spinner. So outside of the form, I did with the class of loading with the display hyphen none. So let's remove that in order to see our spinner running and running. And finally, I will result diff. This is the box where we are going to inject our da data uh, if we successfully get our Pokemon or not. If we success get our Pokemon, we should be able to see the following. This diff. As you can, you will be able to see on the code pen this section already comment. So you just can copy and paste. We just have it for reference. And by the way, the result should have the active class in order to see the nice card over there. And let's give it this display as none back again in order to see the car. There you go. This is if we successfully get our data. Okay, so let's come in this out. Now, what if we don't? <laughs> so for that, we will display the following div, which is a 404 card. This one right here, really nice. So that's if we don't get our data correctly. Okay, now we're going to the JavaScript. First of all, draw manipulation. What do we need exactly? Well, we need the form because we're going to apply on submit event. Then, of course, a my spinner to remove the denom when we are loading in order to fetch the data. Then the search this result in order to get my content injected on my DOM. And then my search, where is it? My import search, of course, where the data is coming from. All right. Then. So to start with, with that, we have two manipulation, four elements, and boom. Now, as I told you, the form add event listener, this is going to be submit. Now, event parameter, we will say either prevent default behavior of the submit event. Now, right away, we need to say to remove from our loading the class list, sorry, the, the list remove of display none because we need to show our spinner when we are trying to fetch the data. So after that, I will create a function called load Pokemon. And right away, we'll create that. So function load Pokemon. This one right here will take, first of all, the text. We'll say let text should be equals to the search, which is my input. That value, that's the way that we can get the text. And just in case, I would like to remove any remaining space or white space. So that's the reason we're using trim values. Remember that inside of my input, we can search a Pokemon by number or by a name. So therefore, I will apply a conditional here. So if my text is not a number, if my text is not a number, remove or change my text value to be lowercase, low, sorry, 
to turn that to lower cases if I can spell using camel case to that method why because inside of the Pocky API if we try to search Pikachu there you go we have the result however this is case sensitive if we change that we don't get anything uh, any data so yep that's the reason I'm turning that to lowercase next we're going to get our URI which is our endpoint that of course is coming from that API Pocket API already have here we're going to concatenate by using backticks nesting the base URL sorry URL with the endpoint which is the text okay next we need to create get Pokemon function a new function and this I'm going to pass the URI and the text and right away let's just do that so fmn get pokemon and just the uri and the text for my parameters and here we're going to use the try and catch block when for the error just going to consult log that the error however this get pokemon is going to be just an asynchronous function why because i'm going to use the await keyword for that so i will say first const response should be equal to await Wait. Uh, fetch, sorry, fetch my URI. Then uh, conditional if my rest that okay is not there, or just a validation, or if me, my text is blank, or if the text, which is if there is a number, if my text is a number, is less or equal than zero, or if my text is more or equal than 650. Please do the following. We're going to throw an error or just a message that says, please, only numbers allowed between 1 and 649 or type the name correctly. Why 650? Well, you will realize later. But yeah, you will realize later. Okay, so after that, we'll say if we successfully get our data, if we pass that conditional, we will say await, await res.json. And then let's just console that log that data. So let's test it out. We inspect. We go within the console. Type any number, available number, and don't worry about this. And we get our data. What do we need exactly from this? Well, we need the ID. We're going to need the name, of course. And now the imagers are coming from the property sprites. But the image, the beautiful image that we are going to use. This one right here is coming from, okay, we, saw, we are inside of sprites, then other, then dream world, and finally from default. So instead of using sprites.other.dreamworld.from from default, we're going to use something that is called destructuring. So after that, we're going to destructure that. So const, destructure the ID, the name, and now the sprites. But again, this is a nested destructuring. So we will say other, and inside of other is dream underscore world and inside of this is from default front underscore default and this is coming from my data okay once I've done that what do we need well we need to display the data inside of our result so first of all remove loading that class list that add sorry not remove again let's again add display none for my spinner then i will say result that class name i will change that class uh, to result and active in order to show my result and then result that inner html should be equals to backticks and here we're right here we're going to use everything that we have inside of my comment so this is a successfully uh, action so I will get my first div and just just to save some time of course going to paste that and yeah, but we will change it by using curly braces and the dollar sign notation because we are concatenated that how exactly well as follows first we have the source attribute so dollar sign curly braces and this is my image then the alt attribute you can changes or not that's up to you but i would love to uh, we're going to use the name because they are unique now for the name of course dollar sign clear braces we're going to use of course the name and now for the parent tag we will say hash 
dollar sign curly bracers and then we're going to use the id that to stream because that's a number and we need to convert that to a string then we will say pod star with pod star our stream will always be three characters long and then what to put in front to fill the space ahead and in this particular case it's going to be zero okay so after that i will clean my input so search that the value should be equals to null so let's test it out so let's click to search and there you go of course we're not able to see our spinner so just for testing purposes let's set set them out and so after a hundred a second and a half let's copy paste it remove everything and sorry uh, that doesn't matter at the time but i would like it that way and let's test it out in order to see our spinner to do and after a second uh, we have our result now on the other hand inside of the catch block we are going to do pretty much the same so take it paste it but instead of this inner html we're going to check the other one so right here grab it then the only thing that's going to change is this part this is going to be dollar sign calibrations something that are going to call pocket number but for this we're going to use a nested ternary operator so we'll say let pocket number should be equals to my conditional if the search value there is if, the, if there is something there okay apply the following otherwise just return an empty string okay now inside of this nested ternary operator we'll say the following again okay? So if my search that, if I can spell search that value is not a number, just show my search that value or the current value from my input. Otherwise, show the search that value, but concatenated at the front the hash symbol. Okay, so, okay, let's test it out. Uh, search and we should get the 404 card. Ta-da! Our next step would be to close this card when we click on that. Because if we search uh, again, we're going to trigger our loaded. And then it's going, of course, to show the Pokemon. But, it, but it's pushing that result div uh, beneath. So I, I won't like that. So in order to prevent that, we need to go above of everything. And we need the result. We will say result because that's my div. And we'll say add event listener of what of click so if i click here i will create a function that is remove result okay let's create that function with no params result that class name should be equals back to result in order to remove the active class and then remove the result in our html remove everything that is inside of my result div back to no and you can use an empty string that will do it anyway so it's okay so if we type anything we search and then if we click on the whole card and it's gone now our next step is we need to work with get lucky button which has the class of btn random so we'll do manipulation again and we should give it a listener which is going to be event listener and then click then my callback function i need to start by calling remove result why because either we have or not a content here when we click get result i need to get rid of that then call my spinner to run again and then i'm going to call get pokemon which is receiving two parameters your i and a text or number or whatever but before we do that, we need to create our URI. So this URI is going to be concatenated by using backticks and a variable or rank number. So we'll say let rank number should be equals to math floor math that random times max number. So this is a not, not man max number 
So this is a method that you can uh, calculate any random number between uh, 0 1 but in this case times my limit but this limit this const constant max num is going to be equal to 650 so the last value is going to be 649 that's my last pokemon but this api allows 1010 pokemons but why am i using 650 as my top because after the 650 that pokemon doesn't have any nice images i mean if we test it out we have we are right here okay we inspect that we inspect this image itself uh actually my console yeah, okay my object we are on the sprites right so instead of my sprite we have all of our images so we have the from default if we copy that property path sorry on the street contents we paste it we get that horrible image <laughs> you see okay that's the first one now inside of the other we have the dream world we're using that actually the dream world now let's go inside of the home from default copy stream contents paste it to see the image what kind of image we have we have a 3d image now on the official artwork if we copy the from default we have another image so you can choose what kind of image would you like to have but i run for from the for the dream world so yeah so we have those image available oh yeah so for testing purposes let's test it out if we are able to see that pokemon let's remove this conditional for now and say okay we don't have any errors right okay yes we have let's remove this for now and say uh, another number in ten thousand a thousand let's search Okay, we still have an error okay let's remove this just for now for testing that okay this was my error sorry okay let's test it out again uh, 649 we have the pokemon of that now 650 we will get a result but not an image as i told you not all of the pokemon have uh, nice images so you will deal with that because we are using this dream world uh, property this source you can use another one maybe they have it but uh, this reward they don't so that's very that's the reason my top is 650. so all right let's comment it out let's put it by my conditional which i believe it was or text more or equals than 650 which is my limit so we, we can use actually that uh variable there sorry that constant okay so we're calling get pokemon so we have the uri and the number because remember get pokemon is expecting to have two uh, parameters why get number because inside of my get pokemon this rank number sorry random number is this text and it's getting through this validation and depending on if this passes or not it's going to trigger a successfully pokemon or our 404 page or card so a hard refresh where are you yes a hard refresh i believe we don't have any errors so let's test it out everything from scratch so number two we have pokemon if we don't type anything oh we should remove that okay let's see what's going on well the error was <laughs> because we forgot to call remove result inside of our submit event this one right here so I believe that should do it. Okay, again, test it out everything from scratch. We have number two. We have our Pokemon. If we click on search, yeah, that has been removed. If we click on the card, we can remove it by our own. If we get lucky, get any random Pokemon. There you go. Now, uh, form validation. We type anything else. We should get a 404 uh, card with the message, with my text. Here you see the text that I wrote. And let's see more than six six hundred and fifty so a thousand the search all right guys do not forget to leave your thumbs up if you like this video you find this video useful in any way subscribe to the channel for more and see you the next time